In the early morning hours of November 15, 2016, the United States Secret Service and the country of Peru conducted a counterfeit operation that was two years in the making. That operation was called Sunset, and the collaborative effort between the Lima Resident Office and the Peruvian National Police stopped an elaborate money-making system responsible for over $40 million in counterfeit destined for the United States. For years, South America, in particular the country of Colombia, was the center of distribution for counterfeit currency headed for the United States. Increased investigative efforts with that country forced the illicit operations to a new location, the country of Peru. Due to the success of the agents and the Secret Service mission with the Colombian National Police and with the entities and with the engagement we formed there, uh, we were very effective at doing what we did. As a consequence of that, normal displacement occurred and those crimes started moving out throughout South America. Uh, since approximately 2010, uh, Peru has been the number one manufacturer and distributor of U.S. counterfeit currency uh, to the United States. Operation Sunset involved hundreds of hours of surveillance, 24-hour wire intercepts, and countless undercover operations to identify over 100 suspects and an extremely complex manufacturing system. We have seized uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, here in Peru thus far, uh, well over $130 million. We have a very good idea of the distribu distribution network now and what it takes to move money from Peru and from South America as a whole to the United States, specifically in the markets like Miami, New York, Newark, Boston, and the whole Northeast. Uh, the importance of, of this uh, investigation for the Secret Service and for the Peruvian National Police is the depth of the investigation, how far we've been able to go into these uh, criminal organizations, uh, how far we've been able to go up the hierarchy, the chain of the people actually financing uh, these crimes here in South America and the U.S., and being able to dismantle on a transnational level uh, the distribution apparatus of these organizations. The success of the Peruvian crime system lies in decentralization from cradle to grave. They start off, obviously, with the design, the financing, right? The overall financing of making the bill, uh, the design of the bill, uh, the burning of the plates, uh, the actual printing of the counterfeit money, and then the recruiting of the mules, and then finally, the final distribution phase to the U.S., and then obviously selling it in the U.S. All those processes along the way are separate. So it's made it much more difficult to work these investigations and work your way up uh, the hierarchy in the organizations to get to the top by affecting not only the low-level distributors but also the manufacturers, the people packing the money, uh, recruiting the mules uh, to bring the money, packing the containers, and most of all financing uh, the distribution of U.S. counterfeit currency. We believe strongly that we'll have an impact on over 65 to 70 percent of the U.S. counterfeit currency from Peru coming into the United States. Dismantling a counterfeiting apparatus of this size could not have been accomplished without the partnership of the Peruvian National Police. Being that we have a very small footprint here and we're a small office, we have to leverage with our counterparts. We have to form those important relationships and learn how to work with them to still complete our mission. We formed those important relationships, those liaisons. Uh, we reached across with the Peruvian National Police, with the Peruvian government, uh, to create a system where we're all uh, working towards the same goal, we're all force multiplying, and what that creates is a system where uh, we're promoting success. We're promoting success both in our mission as well as the mission of the Peruvian government and the Peruvian National Police. And that success resulted in the largest operational seizure of counterfeit currency in the history of the Secret Service.